How's it going, everybody? Cable guy Ken here. Got a request to do a video on the uh, the Swiss tool. I did a little follow-up video on it here a while back, letting you know how it was holding up and everything. Um, was that the blade still just shaving sharp? Um, I ain't had any issues with it at all. It's still just as shiny and new looking as it was. Not really even any scratches on it. A little saw still holding up and everything. But they wanted to know if I could do a video showing uh, using this in a wood situation like carving anything like that. Y'all, I'm not an artiste. I mean, you know, I got some skills, but I'm not a whittler, a carver, anything like that. Um, I can't make the net needles and all that. Well, I say I can't. I've never tried. I probably could if I sat down and took the time to, to try, but I just haven't. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'll be using my, my bandana here just as a demonstration. You know, many of us, if we're out there and you've got a grommet that tears out or, uh, you know, your, your tie out comes out on your tarp, we'll grab a, you know, a rock, put it in there, take your little piece of cordage, you know, and do a half hitch around that piece of uh, rock to hold your tarp up. And I just got a little eight, ten foot piece of, uh, probably about four foot piece of uh, bank line here. But uh, we'll do something. Take a rock and stick it up in there. Do a couple of half hitches around it real quick, and uh, use that to hold it together. And I'm just gonna simulate this right now. But, I mean, it works, but what you're doing, especially if you got seal nylon, is if there's any jagged edges on those rocks or anything, they're going to start pushing through and, uh, you know, do some damage to your tarp that could turn into a big hole in the long run. An alternative to that is to just to make a, a tarp hanger or a tarp toggle, kind of like a clothespin, which you could actually use as a clothespin if you wanted to out in the woods. So, let me set my, my cordage and my little tarp simulator down over there get our saw out here and this is about as big as my thumb I believe this was a piece of uh, cedar I believe but uh, we'll get us a piece about as big as our thumb and maybe about three inches long here real quick got me a piece of wood here to just kind of saw on <laughs> If I'm shaking the camera, y'all, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's cedar. All right, so we're going to go back down here. We'll make this one a little bit smaller. We'll get it about right there because there's a, a bend in it here. I'm trying to work around the camera and still hope that y'all can still see everything. And I'm disturbing an ant bed, not really a fire ant bed, but just some little black ants. Good enough. We'll break that off. Take out our flat blade, just do a little quick clean up on that. But it ain't got to be perfect, but we want to have this as smooth as we can because we don't want any sharp, jagged edges that are going to be cutting into our tarp. Get her all out here, and we're just going to make a a mark on each side to let us know about where we want to put our pivot point at. And we're going to do some cutting and shaping on this to make it into a little uh, clothespin. So I just took my, my awl and put a mark on each side. Tried to get it in about the center on each side. That's going to give me a, an idea of where I'm going to saw at for my, my clothespin, for my toggle. It's going to be like a little pivot point. And then we're going to go down. And it's not perfectly straight, but it's straight enough. We're going to go down to the end here. Say about maybe a quarter inch from the end. Quarter inch, half inch, doesn't matter, it ain't got to be perfect. We're going to saw into this. Get 
try to get about halfway through or so, somewhere around in there. A little bit more, went quite halfway. Alright, we're a little bit more than halfway, but that's good. We're right there about where our, where our little notch is that we wanted to saw into for our toggle, for our, our pivot. Now we're just going to take this and we'll put our point down in there. Kind of hammer this in just a little bit. Just kind of bend that back. Let's see if we can't get that to snap right on that line there we go like I said it ain't got to be perfect because we can always when we get this cut open we're gonna come back in here and just shave this down so that we don't have any big splinters you can see my little mark I put on there for where I want to saw it at it's gonna be my pivot point So we just want that smooth enough that we don't have splinters. Like so. And then the same thing with your, your other half. And I just kind of take a little bit off the side there to make sure there's no splinters that's going to creep up on me over here on the edges. Cause it ain't got to be perfectly smooth, but you want it pretty smooth. So you got your two pieces. Go back together like that. Now we're going to saw in this little gap here where we've got our line. We're going to saw into that so that we got a place to put a pivot. And said again, it ain't got to be perfect. We just want a good little notch spot. And I'm using, I said this is a piece of cedar. You could use something a little bit softer. It'd be a little bit easier to work with than this is. That's good enough. I said we just want a little, a little notch in there, just so we can have something to put a little twig in there to kind of give us a pivot point something to let it move we'll clean that notch up a little bit I said this knife y'all I hadn't sharpened this this blade on this knife since I got it and it's really just really holding up it's uh, holding an edge really well and I couldn't be happier with the purchase of this I mean I was a little bit you know, a little bit of sticker shot when I first bought it, but that's not to say, you know, that it wasn't worth the money. Let me get a little bit bigger than that. That'll work. Just get me a piece of twig here to use as my, my pivot toggle. Just going to cut that off. That way we've got a twig that sticks out on either side just a little bit. And we've got our little piece of wood here we can see how that's going to made up might have to cut this I might have to cut this notch here just a little bit deeper on this back piece just so I can uh, make sure it's going to stay in there good <laughs> 